you there. <laughs> Quick video from a rainy tyre place in my local town. Chucking it down with rain. Quick video on money mindset. So I came into some money yesterday, just, just 250 quid. 250 quid, it's like, oh yeah, brilliant. And then went to the, the shops, you know, went for a power walk around the park, went into Morrison's, got some food, came back out, thought the car doesn't quite feel right. Looked at the rear tire, completely flat, completely flat, like a full deflation. And in the past, I would have gone, oh my God, oh no, you know, money comes in and then straight away it goes out again. You know, like if you get paid, then straight away you're thinking, oh my God, I've got the gas bill, the electric bill, the mortgage, all that sort of stuff. And you can get in a real negative mindset about it about this constant, you know, you get money in and it just goes straight away. And you just gotta realize that that's the nature of money, isn't it? Currency, currency means to flow. So, you know, money likes to flow. And it's better to just go with it rather than resisting it and fighting against it. So, another way to turn it around is, which a mentor taught me was when I was sort of moaning that, I was paying two lots of council tax because I was paying for my main house and then when I was getting renovations done, I had to move out and rent a place for a while. So I rented a place for eight months. I had to pay council tax twice, which didn't seem fair to me. You know, I thought if I'm only using, you know, the bins and the police in one place, I pay one council tax. But no, I was told I had to pay two council taxes even though I was only resident in one place. I was only in one place at a time, which seems logical, doesn't it, to me anyway. And the mentor just sort of told me, or invited me just to think of it a different way, that you know, if your house or your flat burns down, then you've got the fire brigade in both places. Um, you know, so potentially things could affect both residences. So, and he, came, he sort of said, why don't you just try and think of it in terms of gratitude? Gratitude. So, yes, I got 250 quid yesterday. Massively grateful for that. But also my tyre giving away and coming here now and I'm going to pay out, you know, I don't know, 80 quid plus that for a new tyre. Can't be repaired. It was previously repaired because there was a screw in it. Now there's another screw in the same tyre. So... Um, but all I'm going to feel is massive gratitude that I'm going to get a new tyre on my car because my car is useful to me. It gets me from A to B, you know, it gets me to take my kids out, it gets me to go to the gym, it takes me to the shops, it takes me on day trips, it takes me on holidays, all this sort of stuff. And I'm massively grateful for my car. Therefore, paying out 80 quid and being safe with a decent tyre is bargain isn't it so just have a think about that when you're getting money coming in and then bang it's going out again whether it's for your gas bill or your mortgage just try and flip it around in your head if you're getting into a negative mindset over it that you're grateful for the roof over your head you're grateful for the gas firing up your boiler and powering your radiators and your hot water and you're grateful for the electricity you've got and um, it can just stop you getting in that negative mindset around money because money needs to flow currency needs to flow um, if you're a hoarder of money then you're not going to attract more money because the universe suggests that you're just going to hold on to it you're not going to make that money flow and invest it make it grow buy services um, help other people out whatever it is so um, whether you believe in that or not of course is another matter but I invite you just to switch things around if you're getting a bit of a negative mindset over money sometimes, especially when it's coming in and then bang, it's going out, especially after Christmas, of course. That's when we all get the bills. I don't know why they do that. It's like January the 1st, I'll get a gas bill, electric bill. And it's like, it just brings you down to earth. But I'm just going to be grateful for it, okay? So anyway, I hope that's useful. All the best. Have a fantastic day. Cheers. Bye.